Well, so do you know what the best fight in all of any manga is? Because Ryuhei vs Kyoyo is like a violent fucking slugfest, I'll tell you that, right? It shows the journey of two combatants coming to sort of respect one another. And it's shown through just like, just dialogue, nothing explicit, no one saying like, oh shit, these guys are coming to respect one another on the sidelines, you know how the anime is. That is not done here, no sir. It's just done through Koyo's demeanor going from hateful bravado to actually taking Ryohei seriously as an opponent and using his flames when he said he wouldn't. You said you wouldn't, Koyo, but look at you now. And then Ryohei also paralleling that and apologizing for not using 100% of his sunshine counter. And he, you know, he's like, fuck, dude, you're strong. Like, man, like, I should have used 100% of my sunshine counter. I'm sorry for underestimating you. And it all culminates these feelings of, like, just little bit, little bits more of respect. And then in the end, they're both fucking husks of men. And there's this final stand where they're both paralleling each other in terms of movement and panel. And it's it shows this newfound like I guess harmony between them and they fucking they, they give it one last punch You know after shouting each other's names because anime and then they, they look at each other. They look at each other It's that look. It's that look of dude. I'm cool with you now You know no words have to be spoken and it's just it's such a good way of ending it because it's you know exactly what's happened these guys they're back together they're cool it's amazing all that you know it's all in subtext mostly and it's fucking how could you not love this it's so good why does no one talk about this fight and what's more is that now i love a violent slugfest in a fight Amano shows these two combatants like extreme conviction for what they're fighting for through just the just the brutality of it like she puts these poor bastards through it turning the speed lines of the punches and the faces into just messes of like implied force, exaggeration of blood splatters, and just illustrate, taking the time to illustrate brutal injuries. Like, you know, Koyo's tummy here is not in a good way. But I think like what comes through the most is just the posing. Amano will take the time to show Ryohei in these uncharacteristically like frail and delicate poses. And you can really feel him sort of try his best to hold himself up here as he arches over to the opposite side of his broken arm in an attempt to like counterbalance himself. You can really tell these guys are like, oh god, like, oh, they're trying, they're fucking trying. And even like just exaggeration with like the posing of like the reciprocant of attack. So like here when Kyogre's getting fucking walloped in the stomach here, you can see Ryohei's like force of his fist is going through his stomach coming out of his back and Koyo is ridiculously arched over here and it just it sells that impact so well it's like god damn he fucking got him and like overall Ryohei's ability here with his sunshine counter and how it just all works the fact that he's having to take the punches just to actually charge up his attack is fucking brilliant it's so simple it's easy to understand and it creates tension in a really like straightforward a fucking exciting way because you understand fully what the situation here is. Can Ryohei outlast Koyo's attacks? That's it. And it's just, oh, it's just amazing, man. I am shocked that, like, no one talks about this fight, you know? It's just crazy. And the Seaboat arc, all of its fights are some of the best character work from each of the characters. I, I need to talk about Hibari's at some point. Hibari's is, like, Hibari's fight is so interesting and, like, you know, unexpected, but, like, so in fucking character. And, and it's, like, it shows a bit of development from it. It's just, the Seaboat arc is amazing guys come on come on guys